It was a hot day in Paola, Kansas. The rides were banging around empty as we moved through the carnival music and cat calls. At the tilt whirl we were the only ones. My big sister chose our carriage carefully, walking a full circle until she stopped. The ride operator didn't take his eyes off her. Long, dark hair and amber eyes ringed like the golden interior of a newly felt plum. She didn't seem to notice him lingering as he checked the lap bar, and my sister asked in her sweetest, most innocent, or maybe not so innocent voice, can we have a long ride, please, mister? When he sat back down at the joystick, he made a show of lighting his smoke while the cage of his face settled into a smile I would one day learn to recognize. And those dizzying red teacups began to spin my sister and me into woozy amusement. We forgot the man, the heat, our thighs sticking to the vinyl seats, our bodies glued together in a centrifugal blur of happiness beneath a red metal canopy as we picked up speed and started to laugh, our heads thrown back, mouths open, the fabric of my sister's shirt clinging to the swinging globes of her breasts as we went faster and faster, though by then we had begun to scream, stop, please stop until our voices grew hoarse beneath the clattering pivots and dips, the air filling with diesel and cigarettes, and the man at the control stick waiting for us to spin toward him again. And each time, he cocked his hand as if sighting prey down the barrel of a gun. <laughs>